Hello guys, in this video we will see how we can easily install WordPress on localhost. We will be using XAMPP for this. But before that, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Amit Things. Click on subscribe button. So now we will see how to install WordPress on localhost. To install WordPress, we will be using XAMPP. With that, we will be needing the wordpress.org zip file. That is the WordPress zip file. So, XAMPP, what is XAMPP? It is a cross platform web server package. It is having Apache web server. So this will be our web server. For database, we will be using MySQL MariaDB or MariaDB, which comes under XAMPP. So, now let's first install XAMPP so to install XAMPP first we will download it go to Google and type XAMPP here it is press enter here you can see the first website the official website of XAMPP apachefrench.org click on it now we are installing on Windows so we will click on XAMPP for Windows, click on it. Now you can see the download has begun on the left. So guys, now you can see we have successfully downloaded XAMPP 64 bit. Now you need to just double click on it to install. Now you can see the installation has begun for XAMPP. Click on next. Now you can see the following will get installed under XAMPP. I'll click on next again. Location, you can set the location whatever you want, but we are selecting under C drive. So it will get installed under C XAMPP, XAMPP folder. Now I'll click on next. Click next again. If you want to change the language, you can change from here. Now click on next to install. Now you can see setup is now ready. Click on next to install. Here it is. The installation has begun. Guys, now you can see we have successfully completed the XAMPP setup. So here it is written. Do you want to start the control panel? Yes, we want to start. But we want to see how we can start it externally. So we will uncheck it and click on finish. Now we will start the XAMPP control panel. Go to start. Type XAMPP control panel and click on this. So if you remember, we discussed here and why we need XAMPP for web server and database. So let's begin it. I'll click on start here for Apache and I'll click on start here for MySQL. So here you can see status change detected running for both SQL and XAMPP and Apache. So now we'll minimize this. Both are running successfully. So now we have completed the step one. Now let's verify the installation of XAMPP. Go to browser and type localhost. On typing localhost, if this is visible, it means you have successfully installed XAMPP. So now what we'll do, we'll create a database so that we can complete the step one. Here we'll now create a database because we need for WordPress. So for database, you need to click on PHMI admin. We'll click on it. Let's say we'll create a database amid DB. This is the new database. So this is our PHMI admin, the MySQL framework. I'll click on new. Create a new database. Here you can see add the new database name. I have added Amit DB. Now click on create to create. We have successfully created Amit DB database. You can see here Amit DB. No tables are visible here because we haven't added anything. Now we will link this to WordPress. So we are done with step one. Now we will go to step two. We have created our database. We have started Apache. We have started MySQL or MariaDB. Now XAMPP work is finished. So now we will go to WordPress.org to download the official website of WordPress. So let's go. So here it is WordPress.org. Here, get WordPress. Click on get WordPress. This is the official website of WordPress. On clicking, you can see.
download WordPress 5.5, click on it to download. A zip file will download. On the left, you can see the download has begun. Now, guys, you can see the download is visible here. WordPress, you need to copy this. Now, you need to link it with XAMPP. Go to the XAMPP directory. If you remember, we installed XAMPP in C drive. Here it is. Go to XAMPP. Under go to stdocs folder. And here, create a new folder for a website. Let's say I'll name it Amit Web. Now, I'll just paste the zip file here. After pasting, you just need to unzip here. Right click, extract here. Now we'll remove this and this is our file. Move this outwards so that these are our WordPress files. Now this is the link of our website. I'll write it. Here it is project name or website name Amit Web. Oh, this was our directory. So our database name was Amit DB. Okay, so this is what we need for our WordPress. That's it. So now to install go to localhost on browser and type the name of the project amit web that's it okay so why we are doing this because the name of our website is amit web here it is so now we will go to browser let's say i'll so guys i have typed localhost slash amit web press enter to begin installation of wordpress this will link your wordpress with the database as well now guys you can see the setup config has begun select the language i'll go for english and click on continue now you can see welcome to wordpress before beginning you should have the database name we have it you need to create a database username you need to have database username password host and table prefix now let's click on let's go and see how we will do the changes now type the database name if you remember our database name was amit db because we created it here amit db we'll type here amit db since it's a localhost installation you can type the username as root and keep the password as blank for database database host it should be localhost only and prefix so let's say you are having multiple websites with single database for that you will be needing different table prefix so that you can easily identify the name of the tables so we'll keep at wp default you can set it as w or ak or demo as the table prefix so i'll type wp underscore only right now guys we have nothing in amit db and now we will see what we can see here after installation now just go to submit and click on it so these were the database connection details now you need to run the installation Now guys, we need to add the information of the website. Let's say the site title, I'll add, I'll add Amit website, username, let's say Amit around 20, add a password, add a good strong password and mention the email ID here, Amit at the rate of, let's say, I am having an email ID of Amit at the rate of gmail.com. Search engine visibility, discourage search engine. No, I don't want to discourage it. I want this search engines to rank it index it now i'll click on install wordpress now guys here you can see we have successfully installed wordpress so these were our username and password the password which we have chosen before that now we can see the changes in the database now i'll click on amit db or you can refresh here i'll click on it and now you can see we have a lot of tables in a database because we have linked WP WordPress with the database. Here you can see the table prefix we added was WP default. So the table table prefix is now WP. So we have successfully installed WordPress. Now click on login. So now add a username and password here which we have just added before and click on login. Before login if you want to see the default website which WordPress default theme created for you. 
just type localhost slash Amit web and press enter. Here you can see our default website is visible by WordPress. That means we have successfully installed WordPress. You can log in from here also with the same username, email ID or password. The Amit website title is visible because if you remember under site information, we added this. So guys, in this video, we saw how we can easily install WordPress on localhost in Windows 10. For that, we need XAMPP as well as the WordPress zip file. That's it. The project directory where we installed XAMPP was zzamp. The project folder was czamp stdoc under stdoc folder amitweb. Under amitweb, we installed our wordpress.org.zip file from wordpress.org. And we also created amitdb database using phemyadmin. We went to phemyadmin and created a database. And after doing everything, we just went to browser and type localhost slash the project name. That is this name here. And the installation began. Now we have a default website. Guys, thank you for watching the video. If you like the tutorial or guide, subscribe to Amithing YouTube channel and share this video. Thank you.